Growers are becoming increasingly interested in using LEDs as sole source lighting to grow young plants and other high value crops such as edibles, herbs, and greens. Today we are going to show you for that reason how to measure light indoors from sole source high intensity LEDs. This module was built by Osram Opto Semiconductors from Michigan State University. Inside we have a quantimeter built by LightCore and a spectroradiometer. The spectroradiometer is different than all of the other light sensors that we have been looking at because it detects not only light intensity, but the light intensity at each wavelength in a spectrum from 200 to 800 nanometers. Now we will talk about why you cannot use a typical quantum meter. So here we have a quantum meter and we can see that our light output according to this meter is approximately 89 micromoles per meter squared per second. This quantum meter has not been calibrated to measure light from LEDs. However, when we look at the output from our spectroradiometer, it is telling us that we are receiving 157 micromoles per meter squared per second. So you can definitely see that large difference. So if you are wanting to measure the light intensity of LEDs, whether it's in the greenhouse or under sole source lighting, you really need to make sure that you're using a quantum sensor, such as a light core sensor, or a spectroradiometer that has been calibrated for LEDs. There are various spectroradiometers on the market. The spectroradiometer that we are using here is connected to uh, SpectraWiz software. And with this software, we can basically look at the wavelengths from 200 all the way up to 800 nanometers, as well as our intensity in micromoles. So we can see that with the LEDs that we are looking at, we have peaks in the blue region, the green, a larger peak in the red, and a smaller one under far red. We can also see that our output in terms of the light intensity is 157 micromoles per meter squared per second. Since the light intensity of LEDs is relatively constant and unlike sunlight that is continuously changing, we can calculate the daily light integral since we know the number of hours that these sole source LEDs are on and we know the light intensity. 